Earth Day is right around the corner. To celebrate, we stopped by the Montgomery County Recycling Center in Maryland to find out what happens to your recyclables after you drop them off in those big blue bins. The average American generates about 4.5 pounds of trash every day. That's almost 250 million tons of waste every year, enough to bury more than 93,000 football fields in six feet of trash. Less than 25% of that is recycled. The rest winds up being burned or buried in landfills. Scientists say that we could reuse or recycle more than 70% of that waste, which includes valuable materials like glass, aluminum, and paper. We basically accept commingled material, and by that I mean domestic products, residential products that include aluminum cans, steel cans, aluminum foil, and a variety of plastic. The journey starts with a collection truck. Once a week, a collection truck comes by the home on a designated day, and when the truck is full, it comes here. Our first stop is a pre-sort station. We have two conveyors here, four sorters on each conveyor. Here's an example of manual separation. What we're going to do here is take off material that we don't recycle, like plastic film, that goes to the transfer station and ultimately to our waste energy plant where it's converted to energy. The sorters have chutes next to them for the materials that they're responsible for. They drop the materials into the chutes, have little shuttle conveyors under each chute. These chutes drop materials into hoppers. When the hoppers are full, our forklift operators take them over to the appropriate storage space, and then ultimately those materials are failed and recycled. From the pre-sort, material then journeys up to an electromagnet, and this is where we're going to take out the steel cans. From the electromagnet, the material travels over a, a broken glass screening machine, and this is a big metal plate with two-inch holes in it throughout the surface of the plate. After bits of paper and broken glass are sifted out, aluminum and plastic are separated from unbroken glass. The remaining plastics are sorted at the next station. But before we get to that, let's find out about a few of the different kinds of plastics out there. Have you ever seen a number on the bottom of a piece of plastic? That number tells us which type of plastic it's made out of and if it can be recycled. Number one is called PEAT, or polyethylene terephthalate. PEAT is used in many soft drink, water, and juice bottles. Number two is HDPE, or high-density polyethylene, which is used in milk jugs, detergent containers, and shampoo bottles. PEAT and high-density polyethylene are easy to recycle. One type of plastic that isn't usually recyclable is polystyrene, which is used in takeout food containers, styrofoam cups, and some plastic utensils. Let's get back to the plant. So they're gonna take the material, and you might not be able to see it, but there are three discrete chutes here. Sorters take the material they're responsible for, in this case, the high density polyethylene, toss it in the chute, the material falls by gravity. The second two sorters are responsible for the color high density, uh, high density polyethylene. And the aluminum, as I mentioned, isn't hand removed here, it's removed by machine on our light source uh, sorting station. It is a magnet, it's called an eddy current magnet, spreading out all kinds of electromagnetic forces throughout the belt. The magnetic forces are going to induce a charge on the cans that are the same charge as a magnet. So instead of the steel magnet principle where you get this attraction, steel magnet is actually lifting steel cans, you're going to get a repulsion. And so you can't see it here, but these cans actually jump off the end of the conveyor. There's a divider between these two sheets. The aluminum jumps over the divider to a separate conveyor. Any other material falls short of that and goes to a, a, a conveyor that's dedicated to those materials. We talked a little bit about our glass sort at the back of the building, and our sorters are taking off by hand green, brown, and clear glass. Here you can see some examples of bales that we formed with one of our two double ram balers. And we bale all our materials except for glass because it makes it easier for them to be stored on the processing floor. Obviously makes it easier for them to be shipped. These big cubes of baled materials are sent off to processors to be remade into new products. For example, aluminum is melted and rolled into sheets, which can be used to create everything from cans to car bodies. Recycled paper is ground up, mixed with water and chemicals to form a mushy mixture called pulp which is later processed into giant rolls that will become newspaper, paper bags, and other products. These recycled products save energy and reduce the need to use fresh sources of materials. 
And that's what Earth Day is all about.